welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be sharing how I stay productive as a software engineer. This will include how I manage my tasks, some coding best practices that I've learned and really just some simple ways which I believe make my life easier as a developer and overall just as a person. But first I do want to say that there is this weird feeling about productivity or hustle culture but I feel like the end goal is really to just accomplish all your tasks of your livelihood efficiently and fast to be able to leave some time to do whatever you like but let's jump into it so first off and starting pretty high level on how I like to approach my day is simply to just have a routine and you probably have seen the countless videos showing the perfect or ideal routine and all but really just try to find something that works for you and try to stick with it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is creating your ideal workspace. For the longest, I've really had an emphasis on trying to keep my workspace pretty minimal and clutter-free. Of course, not to the extremes, but just enough where I don't have too many objects to be thinking about. I think it all comes down to minimizing your cognitive overload, and it's great to have a little place where you can feel motivated and where inspiration can just strike. Also, while I'm at my desk, I do have to mention music, which is a big thing for me. Music is just one of those things which you can pop on and it will help you get into that flow. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is time management and this was something that caught me by surprise as an entry level or junior software developer well i guess this is probably normal once you get into salary work but it was definitely new to me so this is typically how it went when i was developing projects i was assigned some tasks or issues from an ongoing sprint and then it's pretty much up to you how you approach those tasks really and the mistake i used to do was that i tried to work on as many tasks as i could but I quickly learned that that was actually counterproductive. So at a higher level, typically at the start of the week or at the start of a new sprint, I now like to work on the biggest tasks first that would take the biggest effort. Those are typically like the ones with the highest story points or the ones with the highest priority. I feel like finishing up these tasks that require the most time and effort will pretty much just give you momentum to then just tackle on all the other small tasks. So this is how my calendar would look at first. A bunch of small tasks just throwing on into every day but this is almost like micromanaging yourself instead now i just block a range in my calendar to really have some focused development work and sometimes i turn on my work focus along with setting a pomodoro timer using apple shortcuts another quick thing that helped me with my time are keyboard shortcuts and you'd be surprised how much accumulated time you can save by learning your apps or your system's keyboard shortcuts. On Mac, something that I like to refer to is this Cheat Sheet app. By just holding down the command key, I can quickly find other relevant shortcuts for that app. All right, so next up is getting organized. And again, I'm not talking about how you organize your physical things, but rather your virtual workspaces. Because over time, I started noticing that my code bases were growing and that I was working with multiple projects in parallel. So finding a way to kind of scale up some of your productivity is pretty essential. I like to keep my repository separated between work and personal. And also at the project level, it's important to learn about the best way to organize your directories based on whatever framework or programming language you're using. Another key thing with code is writing good documentation or adding good comments on your code whenever it's necessary. Number one, and something that I find myself constantly thinking about is the dry method, which stands for don't repeat yourself. This principle emphasizing avoiding code duplication and rewriting things that already exist. This enhances the maintainability of your projects and reduces error and just makes your time more efficient. Secondly, there's KISS, which stands for keep it simple, stupid. By avoiding unnecessary complexities, you can improve your readability and ease of debugging and reduce the likelihood of introducing errors into your code. And I find that this method I can apply to both how I create programs in the back end and how I design or implement user facing design elements. And simplicity is really how I like to approach a lot of things. Lastly, there's the solid principles, which goes a little bit more in depth, but overall, the goal with solid is to be able to create software or products that are easy to understand, maintain, and extend. And understanding these principles has for sure helped me stay more productive and efficient with my coding. So hand in hand with staying organized is my new super effective method for note taking with the remarkable paper tablet. Note taking and staying organized is always an essential part of every project that I work on. It's been particularly helpful with my development meeting notes because I'm able to jot down things quickly with no distractions. 
The remarkable tablet provides a great natural feel with some next level writing features. Let me show you my favorite. So first off, it's just such a nice design and build and there's very little glare on this matte display. And because I prefer to travel light, this tablet is perfect at less than a pound in weight with a battery that lasts up to two weeks. You can stay organized with custom folders, tags, and virtually unlimited paper. There's also a bunch of nice and useful templates to choose from. And I love that you can quickly convert handwritten text into type text. So it's easier to share and modify. And of course, you can sync it to the cloud and access it from your phone or laptop. Lastly, Remarkable has some really nicely crafted accessories like this one, the type folio, which you can use as a cover or as a full keyboard. So yeah, if you too are interested in optimizing your note-taking workflow, go check out the Remarkable 2 paper tablet at remarkable.com or by clicking the link down in the description. And of course, thank you to the Remarkable team for making this video possible. So here's the last and probably one of the most important things, which is reflection and self-care. At the end of the day, being a software engineer is really just another job for me. So it's key to also prioritize time for yourself and your hobbies or your family and friends. I find that this helps prevent things like burnout or career dissatisfaction. I've recently started journaling using the journal app on iPhone. I've never journaled in the past, but I find that writing my thoughts at the end of the day is a pretty good way to be able to reflect and think back sometimes. And I'm always hearing about the positive effects of journaling, like helping your self-awareness. So I'm going to try to make that a habit for the long term. And another thing which I believe is a form of self-care for me is staying active, whether that's going for a ride on my e-bike or simply going to get an evening workout in. Because, well, I am sitting around all day after all. There's something so strange about moving around heavy weights and challenging yourself. But at the end of a good workout, you get an endorphin release and a sense of achievement but overall it's just good for you so at the end of it all it's like why am i trying to be so productive anyways why does it even matter it's just work 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 stay productive but i feel like for me the end goal is really to be able to achieve all my tasks as fast and as efficiently as possible to still have time for other things that you want to do yeah let me know what you think about this idea and thanks for watching until the very end make sure to leave a like and i'll see you on the next one